Nikki Fariyaz, the Fred Manifair sophomore at Harvard University. And today my talk centers around the word balikbayan. So as we know, in the Philippines, the word balikbayan is normally used to describe somebody who has lived for a significant amount of time abroad, whether to work or to study, but chooses to return to the Philippines. And to me, balikbayan has always been a word that I've loved, but I've never thought that I could actually be a balikbayan. Besides, I really loved growing up in the Philippines. This is me on the right-hand side, actually giving my best April Boy Regino impression. And I couldn't ever imagine growing up in a different country. And more than that, I couldn't imagine leaving this country and living somewhere else. But that changed when in seventh grade, I was given the opportunity to attend the International School Manila on a Filipino scholarship. And it was there where I was pushed to think outside of Philippine borders. And that's where I started entertaining the idea that perhaps maybe I could go to college in the United States. Five years later, by some amount of luck, I was able to land myself a spot at Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where, not, where I now am a second year student. And this is me bundled up, and this is actually really ironic because this was early October and it wasn't that cold at all, but it was obvious that I was from a tropical country. And everyone knew that I was from the Philippines because I was already all bundled up at this time. It wasn't even that cold yet. But it was at Harvard, and it's at Harvard currently, where I am considered an international student. And in a couple of short years, I will be faced with the big question that every Filipino who is currently abroad has to face. Should I stay, or should I go back to the Philippines? Now, in the first few months of college abroad, I found traces of home gnawing at me from every side. This is me in the classic Bharat Saya about to perform Pandango Sa Ilaw, that dance with the candles, in front of singer John Legend with a couple of friends. I found that I missed being home. I found that even though I was in the United States amongst good friends, I still itched to come back here. And that's why the answer to that big question has always been simple for me. I want to come back here to the Philippines after I graduate from Harvard. But it's not that easy. Just last November during Thanksgiving, when I was with a couple of relatives, we were eating turkey, having a lot of fun, when that big question came up. What do you want to do after college? I said, well, I want to return to the Philippines to work. And you know, classic Filipino auntie, why do you want to return to the Philippines to work? It's so sayang, you're going to school here in the United States and you're going back to the Philippines. I kind of uh, got like acid reflux type of reaction to that. I really, really don't believe that it's sayang to return to the Philippines. And I'm going to tell you why. But let me preface that with something. I'm a big idealist. I really believe that this country will go down the path where there is no more pollution, no more corruption, no more poverty. And that's one of the reasons why I choose to return. More than that, I want to return to help the Philippine educational system from the bottom up. I want to teach. I want to be with little kids. I want to inspire them to achieve their dreams just as IS International School Manila and my teachers have helped me do. Then I started thinking. There are 2 million overseas Filipino workers. There are 3.5 million Filipino Americans. And overall, there are 12.5 million overseas Filipinos. Imagine how much of our country's talent, intelligence, and resources are actually not in the country right now. Brain drain is a real problem. And this issue of Filipinos not wanting to come back and thinking that it's sayang is actually exacerbating the problem. And as I've come to learn over the past year and a half, a lot of these Filipino Americans are actually not just average Joes. They are CEOs of big companies, founders of nonprofit organizations, women like these three women who I met earlier um, in 2012, who have actually established enterprises, ventures, and businesses that are thriving in the United States. Imagine if those women brought what they were doing in the United States here. How much better and stronger would this country be? This is a photo of the Filipino students who are currently living in the Boston area. So they go to schools like MIT, Northeastern, Boston University. So imagine if only five of these students chose to do what I am choosing to do, to come back to the Philippines after they have finished their studies and bring whatever experiences, contacts, and new perspectives they can to the country. It's really simple. If more Filipinos who studied or grew up abroad returned to the Philippines to this country, 
this would be a much better and stronger place to live. The Philippines has an insane amount of potential, and that's obvious already with how much we're climbing up the economic ladder over the past few years. And on a more smaller scale, Filipinos who actually study abroad do very well in their institutions and perform better than their peers. We have tr been trying to encourage organizations in the country to focus their efforts towards students who are studying abroad. And we have also tried to foster that interest in the students who are s currently fourth year high school students and local uh, universe, uh, local high schools here in the Philippines. So one of the organizations that a couple of friends and I started just a couple of months ago was called Camp Philippines. And I know that a couple of you in the audience actually know about this. What Camp Philippines strives to do is encourage local school students who have so much potential to apply to colleges abroad. We have been giving uh, school talks to encourage students to do this as well as raise awareness. And we also have a mentorship program where students like Patrick, who actually attends Savior, are high achieving and are able to uh, go to these colleges if they so choose. But why do you think we're doing this? I mean, I just gave you a long spiel about how students should actually stay in the country if they want to help it. We're doing this so that students will be given the opportunities and the resources to grow as individuals. And actually, one of our main visions and missions in camp is to make sure that they come back to the Philippines to make it an enlightened, stronger, and more united nation. And more than that, students abroad can also encourage their peers and other people to come back here and do the same work that they do. Currently, there are 11 other Harvard students in the country doing community service project. Aleha, who received the prize earlier, is one of them. Mark is another one who is currently in the audience. And we're here doing work to make the Philippine educational system or to do our part for the Philippine educational system. Efren Peñafolita was one of our inspirations. And because of him, we're building a mobile library to help street kids in the Ermita area. We are also doing workshops with street kids including dancing, singing, art, photography, to encourage self-expression and to make sure that they know that they can get what they want out of an education. In fact, on Tuesday, we're having a showcase where these kids will be given their very first opportunity to perform in front of an audience and to share their story. An Ancuentoco is the theme of our performance. So not only can Filipino students currently studying abroad come back to the Philippines and bring those experiences with them, they can also encourage their peers and other people who are just as talented and established as they are to come here and develop that interest in the Philippines. The team has been enjoying their time here so far, and I'm sure Aleha and Mark can also tell you that. Apparently yesterday they ate balot, they tried isao, they tried all the Filipino things, and they love Filipino culture. And I think and I hope that they would want to come back in the future. So why education? I think all of you might be wondering, how can you tackle an issue this vast, Michi? Like, what makes you think that you as one student can help the Philippine educational system in any way whatsoever? Well, simply put, and related to the theme today, education is what makes me feel fully alive. It's something that I want to do, and something that when I get up in the morning, I feel like makes the day worth going through. It's something that I've done since high school, and I didn't realize until recently how much I've been passionate about it. Before, I used to be a pre-med, but after I took organic chemistry, that sort of withered away. Um, so when I decided that, or when I found out that at the root of everything I did was actually a desire to help every ch child in the Philippines receive as good of an education as I did, that was when I decided that this is what I want to do. I believe that students can leverage what they learn inside the classroom to open their minds to new possibilities and to make sure that they establish themselves as productive members of Philippine society. But more than that, I believe that the power of personal contact and connection with these kids extends far beyond anything that you could ever accomplish through policy changes or um, things that you can do through government. I believe that if you see that one kid through all the way to college, if you talk to them about making sure that they work their hardest in their classes, that is an immeasurable impact that no government official can ever measure. And that is something that I want to do. And that is what makes me feel fully alive. As I always say to myself, what really matters at the end of the day is that you're doing something you love for a place that you love. 
and more often than not, that is going to be the Philippines. So for a lot of you who may choose to study abroad, who may choose to live abroad, I encourage you to be the brave soul and be a balik bayan. And if ever somebody tells you that it's actually sayang to return to the Philippines to do what you want to do, think of another word instead. Think of kaya. You can do it, as so many other Filipinos have done it already. We can do it, and we can make the Philippines a better place. Thank you.